Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to create a terrain in 3ds Max from AutoCAD topographic lines. The first step is to prepare our file by isolating and cleaning the grading lines. Something important to notice is that the plan I'm using includes the height information, and this is necessary for the 3ds Max option we're going to use. Okay, the fastest way to set up the file is by using AutoCAD. First, select a few lines, then click the Isolate Layer button. This will hide other layers, keeping only what we need visible. Next, select all the lines and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Then, create a new blank drawing and paste the lines as close as possible to the origin point. This is an important step as 3ds Max have problems with files placed far from the origin. Once the lines are in place, let's move them all to the same layer to ensure they import as a single object in 3ds Max. Naming your layers properly is also important for file organization. Now, the next step is to clean up the file. Start with the audit command to fix any errors in the file. Then, type purge. Select purge all and press purge all selected items. The final cleanup step is using overkill to remove any overlapping lines. In this case, it removed 10 lines. Don't forget to save your file after all these steps. Okay, back in 3ds Max, let's import the DWG file. In the import options, choose the incoming units. I'm selecting meters for this example. Leave all the other settings as default and press the OK button. Another option for importing into 3ds Max is by using Pizzamont copy-paste DWG script. To use this script, select the lines in AutoCAD and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then in 3ds Max, open the script, check import options and uncheck make splines flat and create groups option. Then press the paste button. We can see that we have the same result, but the advantage of this script is that the advanced options can save us some time, especially if we need to import multiple DWG files. In this case, I totally recommend getting the full script. You can also check my detailed tutorial in this link for more information on this script. With the spline selected in 3ds Max, navigate to the Create tab, select Geometry, and then choose terrain under compound objects. We can see how the terrain surface has been created. But if we change our view to wireframe, we can see that the created geometry is really bad, and this can cause a lot of problems. A quick way to fix this, and the option I recommend, is by using the 3ds Max retopology tools. You can add it from the modifier list. And if you don't have this tool installed, you can get it from the Autodesk desktop application. We're going to use Reform, increase the face count, and press the Compute button to start the processing. If you don't like the result, press the Reset button and increase or decrease the face count. We also have some additional options that can help us to fine tune the results. But for this tutorial, we're going to leave all these settings as default. Once the processing finishes, we can see that we have a clean geometry. And if we turn the retopology modifier on and off, the results are almost identical. And that's how you create a detailed terrain in 3ds Max from AutoCAD topography lines. Using these steps, you can transform topographical data into a 3D model. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.